Okay, so today we're going to test the headspace in this little vial here using the model 905V. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's maybe one to two cc's of headspace in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the sample probe and we're actually going to um, puncture the top of the septum with the needle and then we're going to force the headspace out using a water injection method. Um, the electrochemical sensor that we use inside is a very special low volume sensor so we'll be able to measure this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this 1cc syringe with water and you want to be extra careful that there's no air bubbles so that you don't contaminate the sample. And then what you're going to do is take the sample probe and carefully puncture it through the top of the septum making sure not to go into the product. So you actually can look down and make and see exactly how far you're going in and we're through the septum there and now we're just going to hold that in place and then with my other hand I'm going to puncture this one through with the water and this one it's okay if we go down towards the product because we're going to be slowly injecting the water in. So to start I'm just going to put 0.2 cc's of water in and as I inject the water the headspace is forced out of this vial and you can see with just 0.2 cc's the reading's already starting to go down here. The key to this is the probe that is used and the sensor inside are very minimal volume so we're getting a good reading here. It's, it looks like it's going down towards 1% with just 0.2 cc's. I'm going to continue injecting a little bit more water in here to see if the reading goes any lower. So now we have 0.4 cc's. So actually this vial is incredibly well flushed. So we're getting down to 0 0.35, 0 0.34, which is very good. I'm going to do a full half a cc. And then I'm just going to continue to go, and you'll know you're done when the reading start, stops moving because it will start to kind of bottom out. You want to be very careful though that you don't get any of the water sucked back up into the sample probe because then you risk contaminating the sensor. So this vial is actually almost perfectly flushed. It's going down to 0.05% oxygen. And I've almost got a full cc of water injected in here. And it's not going down anymore. So we're gonna call this 0 0.06. That's it.